Um, 12. This looks like a pilomatricoma. Yeah, pilomatricoma, pilomatrixoma, whichever you like. I like how it looks with the X, but it's easier to say with spelling it with the C. And the most helpful clue, of course, is the sheets of ghost or shadow cells. They're sheets of keratinocytes that have died and left behind their, their um, skeletal remains, basically. And you can see where the nuclei were. And then these often calcify and get a lot of calcium in them. And then sometimes even ossify and form nice bone. Um, that happens sometimes. And they are dead keratin, and so the dermis gets very unhappy and makes this very brisk giant cell and histiocytic response. Almost always you're going to see tons of brisk inflammation and giant cell reaction to these. Oh, here's a little bone forming, I think, right here. Oh, no, it's not. It's still just shadow cells. And then the, there are blue basaloid cells that are the matrical component. Sometimes they may be totally absent. Like, I don't see really much of them at all in this. Oh, here's a little bit. Sometimes they may be very focal, and sometimes they can be tons of them. Um, they are matrical cells. They recapitulate the hair follicle root, and so guess what? They're going to have mitotic activity, sometimes tons of mitoses. Do not be afraid. Mitotic activity, even robust mitotic activity, is totally acceptable. I don't want to see pleomorphism, atypical mites, or infiltration way beyond the border of the tumor. Those things make me worry about a malignant pilometricoma or a matrical carcinoma, whichever name you like. Uh, in my experience, with, with once you have practice at recognizing these, if I look at it and it looks like a pilometricoma right away, it's almost always going to be benign. I've seen rare exceptions, but matrical carcinomas to me, usually I look at it and I'm like, ooh, that's an ugly cancer. And then I find focal areas that are making some kind of ghost shadow cells or some inner root sheath trichohyaline granules. So I feel like I start with carcinoma and then eventually see, oh, there's matrical stuff. And then that's when I call it matrical carcinoma. That's just my very, very... Um, you know, loose rule as though that if it looks like a pilometricoma right away, it's the vast majority will be benign. Okay. And, you know, usually they're in kids, but you can have them in adults too. I've even seen older adults with pilometricomas. So don't be afraid.